Earlier this week, I sent you guys a survey. The survey asked you to write down your definition of intelligence and then asked you a couple questions on whether or not you would consider certain AI and non-AI systems intelligent based on that definition. Today we're going to talk about why I sent you guys that survey. To be clear, there's no one definition of intelligence that everyone agrees on that also isn't extremely vague. So pretty much all of your responses were completely reasonable. However, we spend a lot of time talking about this thing we call artificial intelligence, even though we don't actually have a concrete definition of what intelligence is. In theory, by calling it artificial intelligence, one would expect that there is some benchmark that once we reach it, we will consider that system to be intelligent, presumably in the same way that we consider ourselves to be intelligent. Well, it turns out like many things in this world, there isn't really a line and any line that you could say that we have, we've been moving for years. In short, the point of the survey was to exemplify something called the AI effect. The AI effect is a phenomenon where every time we design a computational system that we would call AI, we immediately see it and believe that because it is a computational system, it cannot be intelligent and is therefore no longer AI. You can see this debate raging on Twitter every single day on whether AI is the correct term for these systems, whether these systems can truly be considered intelligent, and what it would mean for these systems to be intelligent in the first place. We've tried to come up with ways of quantifying intelligence in a computational sense so that we could determine whether or not we have true AI. Things like the Turing test, which is notoriously flawed. But it's true that every time we come out with a new development in artificial intelligence, we almost immediately then say that this is not a truly intelligent system. Now, I personally don't disagree with that. I think that all of the systems that we have so far that we call AI are not truly intelligent in any form. But if we're going to talk about something like an artificial general intelligence, where we'd have a computational system that should be able to reason and think as a human does, then at some point, I think you do have to call that intelligent. And all of this would be a lot easier if we had one standardized quantifiable definition for what intelligence was that hasn't been historically problematic like IQ tests. So let's see what you guys thought was intelligent and not intelligent. So we had 50 respondents, which by the way, this is not a real study. This was like something I wrote up in about 10 minutes. So grains of salt all around. First, I'm going to put up a word cloud to show the definitions of intelligence that you guys gave. In short, the things that came up a lot were the ability to acquire, apply, use knowledge, the ability to make logical decisions, uh, consciousness comes up a lot, the ability to basically plan things um, or make sub goals to reach a larger goal, and also the ability to improvise, the ability to adapt. So based on these definitions, I then asked you guys whether or not you thought these systems were intelligent. Starting with recommendation systems, systems like the YouTube algorithm and newsfeed sorting, 66% of you don't think that these systems are intelligent. Moving on to babies, we had 72% of you think that babies were intelligent. Next was Siri, Alexa, basically AI-based personal assistants. And 68% of you thought that they were not intelligent. I'll quickly note, I had an option on the forum that was not familiar with this topic. I included that more so for the topics like AGI and IBM Watson, but I also got some not familiar with this topic for both Siri and birds. Um, so maybe learn a bit about birds, some of you. So for our birds intelligent, we had 78% of you saying that birds are intelligent. Interestingly, for IBM Watson, we had 44.7% of people saying that IBM Watson is intelligent, 46.8% of people saying that it's not, with the remaining people not being familiar. For our monkeys intelligent, 92% of you said yes. Is Sophia, the robot from Hanson Robotics, intelligent? We had 42% of you say no, 36% of you say yes, and 22% of you not be familiar with it. Finally, for the last two questions, I asked you whether you would expect artificial general intelligence to be intelligent. 68% of you said yes, 16% of you said no, and 16% of you were not familiar. 
And finally, I asked you whether you thought that an AI system could ever be intelligent. 90% of you said yes. So these results, particularly the IBM Watson and Sophia results, are fascinating to me because they exemplify where the current line is on whether or not an AI system is intelligent or unintelligent. In the past, systems like Siri and Alexa, things that could theoretically pass a Turing test where you're only looking at a chatbot on a screen and you're not hearing the vaguely robotic voice of both Siri and Alexa, would pass a Turing test and would therefore be considered intelligent. Now, the Turing test has a lot of flaws and we've both discovered that at the time of the Turing test, but also now. But since then, we seem to have moved the bar to systems that sound human and that basically have wide breadth of knowledge of a lot of topics. So if you're not familiar with IBM Watson, IBM Watson is an AI service that IBM provides. It can be used for a lot of different things. I did a video on how it was used in oncology for cancer treatments and how the use of IBM Watson in oncology exemplified how people from different areas have different prevalences of certain cancers, and so you can't just take data from one area and apply it to another area because it doesn't work. However, almost half of you thought that IBM Watson is intelligent. And comment below with why you thought that these things were and weren't intelligent, because I'm super curious. Similarly, Sophia is a humanoid robot that I did a video on a while back, and it uses a bunch of different AI systems in order to theoretically respond like a human does. A lot of the examples that we see of Sophia in popular media are actually pre-programmed responses. So if you saw her on Jimmy Fallon, those jokes and whatnot were not just like things that she like came up with off the cuff. They were programmed by the engineers at Hanson Robotics. But between the people who voted yes versus no on whether Sophia was intelligent, the responses were pretty split. And what's most interesting to me is that as we claim to get closer and closer to an artificial general intelligence system, everyone does still seem to think, or at least the vast majority of people do still seem to think, that AGI will be intelligent. So we are moving the goalposts over the years, but there is some line out there that we believe can be crossed that would make it an intelligent system. So if you didn't get a chance to respond to the survey before I put it up, definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think that IBM Watson and Sophia the Robot are intelligent systems, as well as what your definition of intelligence is, because I'm super curious. Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you so much to all of my wonderful patrons. Otherwise, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.